So I was gonna do a video and I was gonna talk about my ginger. But of course my husband's out there chopping firewood or cutting. Got my granddaughter here because my grandson's at the hospital. See? It's like I go outside to do the gardening and then all of a sudden the neighbors decide to use a blower and we're in a canyon. Uh, I don't know how many times somebody can have gardening done in a week, but they do. You got the neighbors using the blower, you've got tree trimmers, you got dogs barking, got sirens coming, got planes flying overhead, even the blimp was flying overhead. I just decided to have some coffee and sit down and test my camera out and I'm thinking about doing some vlogging in between all the videos. We're not giving up any videos. We have so many questions coming in and it's really, really hard to answer the questions. I'm really good at typing and oh, here comes my granddaughter. I'm really good at typing. So that's not a problem, but it's answering questions sometimes like, as somebody will ask you, isn't it winter? Tomorrow is spring. So is it winter? Yes. You wanna say hello? Look at this, this is my granddaughter, she's visiting. Hello. Hello, your brother's at the hospital, isn't he? Yes. He's got what? He's got um, a a asthma, yeah, asthma. asthma. You're gonna go. Are you going soon to the doctor's too? Yeah. And you're gonna have a, a plate removed out of your leg? Yeah. Gosh, you you're like the bravest kid I know. I I can't believe it. So the you should you should tell everybody what because what this was all about. So your yeah. bones, you have two bones in the legs, right? Yes. Yeah. And one bone was growing faster than the other bone. Yes. Is that how they explained it to you? Here, come here. Just scoot over. Okay. okay, so they put a plate in there and they slowed the bone down, right? Yeah. And it worked. Yeah. But you had to keep it in your leg for over a year. Yeah. And I understand that you've told mommy that you're keeping the plate. Yeah. And, and you're going to make a, a necklace out of it or something? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Even though yeah, my brother did um, he growed. He said it's gross. Yeah, my brother. Let did. me tell you something. I had a good friend, and he ended up with gallbladder stones. Oh my gosh! Here, you can move over a little bit. Move okay. over here. And when he had to go in for surgery to have his gallbladder stones removed, he wrote across his stomach in black ink, "Save me those stones." He was a rock collector. And then he made a ring out of it, out of the stones that his body made. He made a ring out of it. He used to wear this big, beautiful ring, big, heavy gold ring, I think he made. Maybe it was silver. And he had all the stones embedded in it. So you're not the first. So this is a good. I think if you wear it around your neck once in a while, you know what it is? It will be a conversation piece. People will say, what is that weird thing you're wearing? What does that mean? Because it will be a little piece of metal, I guess, right? And the doctor said she put it in and it was like a special color, but she can't remember what color it was, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we can do it, we could do it together. If there's no hole in it, we could drill a little hole or Pa could dr drill a hole for you and then you can wear it. And then you can tell them all about it. Because yeah. you're not the only one that's had this. A lot of other kids have had this too, right? I bet you the other kids didn't save it to make jewelry out of. Yeah, my sister broke one arm. I know, your sister broke an arm. Oh, that's a cute, funny story. It's not funny. Your sister broke an arm. She fell at school and she literally broke, the bone was coming out of her arm. Yeah. And the school called and your mom went down and your mom was crying and your sister's trying to calm down your mom. It's okay, mom, they're gonna fix it. They're gonna fix it. So she had pins put in too. Remember? Oh, you do. You weren't even here yet. They had to put a, like screws inside her arm and screw the bone back because she was playing. Don't don't jump off of things. She was standing on something and she tripped, and she fell just a short ways, and she felt it. She said it snapped. She would have been. What grade was she in when that happened? Third grade? Fourth grade? 
third grade. Third grade? So she had two big screws put in. I was there when they pulled them out. I think I have a picture of the screws. Um. Yeah, so, so that's right. So you're not the only one with metal in you. Your sister had metal. And that was left in for six or seven weeks. I can't remember how long, a long time. They had to surgically put, do that. She went to the hospital. They had to go in there and screw it in and put her bones back together. It worked. See, she seems okay. So yours, that was to seal the bones back and yours is to slow the growth of one because you have one growing normally and one not growing. So you're kind of buckling. So I guess if it's, they slowed one down so they'll match. I saw your x-rays, they look really good. They look straight. Okay, all right. So what was I gonna say? Yes, it's winter. Has it been cold? I think it's been cold. And we had such a, a warm winter until a couple weeks ago. Now it's been so cold. Do you like it cold? Mommy likes it cold doesn't she? She likes it cold. She likes the rain. She probably would live in the snow. You think she'd live in the snow? Your mom? Yeah, I think she would. Not me. I like it hot. Me too. I like it. You like it hot? I do too. I like it when it's really, really warm. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the one question I'll answer today. Somebody wrote, um, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but it's R-A-S-H-E-D-A-C. And she wrote, isn't it winter? How many degrees are you currently? Nice video. Um, we're probably about 60 today. And all week, thank goodness, we have a rainstorm coming in. And it's going to be, the, the low, lows where we are are going to be in the 50s. So that's not too bad, because we've been in the 40s and 30s and things froze. So right now we're going to be running probably in the 60s during the week and then might get a little warmer but then we got a big storm moving in. When's the storm moving in? Tomorrow or Wednesday? I can't remember. Tomorrow. We have, tomorrow, oh. tomorrow night. We have a big storm moving in and it's going to be a um, pineapple express so it's coming from Hawaii so it's supposed to be warm. No, you can put your sh shirt back in. There. So that's it. So I guess I will see you. If you like me, if you want me to do some vlogs in between my other videos, don't worry, I won't stop doing that. Oh, no, no, take that out. Uh, then I can do videos. And if not, then I won't do vlogs. No, no. Whatever I can do, it's quiet now. Okay, so my granddaughter came to visit today unexpectedly. No, oh, I'm looking at my, uh, sorry about that. I'm not used to this. I'm looking at my computer instead of you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I got a phone call this morning. Can you, can I drop her off? She lives four and a half miles from me. So I said, of course. In fact, Gary ran down and picked her up and they went to the hospital and he's had his asthma problems where his, his oxygen, oxygen levels dropped to 88. Apparently they're back up now and he's on meds. He just suffers from asthma. I hear a car, I thought it was my daughter, it's not and they just have to watch it. My daughter's really good at knowing. I think she can just look at him and know when his oxygen levels have dropped. I don't know that much about it. I, we haven't had asthma really in our family. We've got allergies a little bit, nothing too bad. And that's it. Um, if you think you'd like me to do some vlogs in between, I'd be more than happy to do some vlogs, blogging. I, and bear with me, all this is new to me. I, half the time I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm amazed that I've learned all this. I mean, my goodness, the little one you just saw, who's five, she knew how to use a tablet when she was like a year and a half, she was on the tablet. And then the other one, my grandson, he was, oh, that was funny. He's doing gaming at like four and five years old, gaming before he went to school. And he's up there doing all these gaming. He can do so much stuff. And he's like, they all thought he was in his teens and they're all cussing and using bad language and he's going, does your mom know what you're saying? Does your mom know? They had no idea that they were playing with a four and five year old. It was really tough getting him to go to school, I heard, because he didn't want to go in the morning because he had games that he was going to be involved in. So it's a whole different world. Wow. The world I grew up in was not like this. 
I'm going to say for me, I was not that crazy about school either. I, I, if anybody's interested in hearing about that story, that's a funny story. I had, I must have had ADHD or ADD because I could not sit still. So that was really, really tough. And if you want to hear about it, I'll go ahead and tell you about it. I was really lucky though. I had a great school and great teachers. So I'm going to cut this short right now. Yes, we're in winter. Tomorrow is spring. If you want me to do more vlogs, yeah, I will be more than happy. If not, don't give me a thumbs down. Just don't say anything. If I get some thumbs up and people say, yeah, do vlogs, I'll do vlogs. And if not, that's fine too. This is totally unexpected. I'm testing out the camera and my husband's not doing the, the back and forth thing right now. I don't even think he knows I'm doing this. He said he's chopping firewood because it's supposed to rain. So have a great day. And I just wanted to share, look at all this. Can you see this? This is an entire plate of ginger. I planted a few teeny, teeny pieces, not this big, little nodule pieces there. I took, I bought, a, bought it and cut it off and planted it. And I ended up, I was amazed. There's even some more left outside. Look at that. I planted it in one of those pots that I get from the florist for free. And I decided to dig it up the other day. I did a video. I've got to get that up. And I was like amazed. Are you kidding me? There's that much. I kept digging and digging in it. So I was going to freeze these, but I think I'm going to leave them fresh and change my mind. And as soon as I see a couple start to grow some sprouts, I'm going to go ahead and plant them back because obviously these are well acclimated to my area. I mean, if they grow that much in less than a year, then you want, I want to keep the ones that are growing. I was going to try the roots, but I, I think it's a waste of time. I think the roots I'm going to chop up. Gary's been eating it. I've been putting it in our morning eggs and he wants to make a stir fry. So I think I'm going to do that. But I'm just amazed. You said you like it too. You can come say hello. Look at that. Mmm, it smells so good. Fresh ginger. So that's it for today. Like I said, I, I have to learn to look at you. Not at me. I don't want to see me anyways. It's so hard for me to even go back and look at my own videos. It's so funny. Gary can sit and watch the videos over and over and study it. And I don't even want to see myself. So have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Say bye. Bye.